Blend 4.3 is just around the corner and I wanted to make this video going over some of the new features coming into that release. First up we have Geonodes features and we're getting a couple of quality life features when it comes to node groups including the option to set a new custom node width in your node group settings which is super useful when you have more complex or larger node groups. You can now also add warnings, errors and info outputs into your node groups with custom messages driven by booleans. It's going to be great for improving the end user experience or when making node groups for other people. We're also getting a hash value node which will return a different value for any input data type, float, vector, color, based on the seed and is intended to be used where white noise doesn't give enough flexibility with its inputs or outputs. For example I can now input matrices or strings into this and get a single integer output which is impossible with the white noise texture. We now of course have Grease Pencil 3.0 coming out which means node support for Grease Pencil features which I've already gone over more in depth in another video but this is going to be a game changer for 2D animation and some simple examples of how this can be used now is being able to draw objects that convert it to 3D meshes in real time using geometry nodes modifiers on Grease Pencil objects and converting them into curves. And I'm super excited to see what people will do with this when it comes to using them as input for geometry nodes uh, or even simulation nodes. New shading features, we're now getting a new metallic shader node which at first glance appears to deliver the same results as a principal shader node. However, it has extra properties such as edge tint to affect the colour of the Fresnel in a more physically accurate way, or the ability to switch to physical conductor and gain access to more technical IOR type settings that essentially allow you to drive the colour in a much more mathematically correct and physically accurate way. And I was able to get some nice results fairly quickly just playing around with these values. The principal shader has a small update with this new diffuse roughness input which acts the same as the roughness on the basic diffuse shader. It has a somewhat subtle effect but I've personally found it useful for materials that are supposed to be extremely bumpy like this asphalt example. There now exists a new noise texture type called the Gabor texture which uses a different algorithm to generate noise and generally creates a smoother result. In addition it has a really nice anisotropy input which is a very easy way to create these more wave like patterns that I think 2D effects and procedural shading could benefit from. Some other new features coming out are the fact that sculpting now has acetized brushes in a very similar way to how Geometry Node's hair has been implemented with basic brushes shipping with Blender as part of the Essentials library but with the option for users to add custom brushes to an asset library and then have them appear on the shelf as they work. In addition to all these new features we got a ton of smaller quality of life changes and I'll link to the full list in the description but overall Blender 4.3 is shaping up to be a great release 